What's up, everybody? Climbing Preacher here. I have not taken this role in quite a while because I don't climb towers anymore. <laughs> but I do consider myself the Climbing Preacher, and I've got some insider information for you that I just heard. Um, and I don't think it's top secret, but thought I'd share it with you regarding Kamala Harris. Come check it out. We're coming next. So uh, it's not top secret information. Uh, I am a consultant for T-Mobile and this has no proprietary information. I don't think it's uh, gonna get me in trouble, but I just thought I'd share some uh, ironic, some ironic part of a story that I heard this morning that um, you know, I think is important for most people to hear because you know I'm not a conspiracy, I'm not into conspiracy you know, conspiring or conspiracies and like coming up with silly things, you know, but I heard the story this morning about Kamala Harris being in Phoenix, Arizona. Okay. And uh, we currently are working on a facility for T-Mobile in, in association with APS and their building. And it requires a lot of security for us to work on this rooftop because APS uh, protects their property and uh, you know we go through a lot of vetting to get on there and so we have to have a security guard work with us on the facility while we're completing the job uh, so lo and behold I was talking to the APS supervisor this morning he told a funny story which I don't think anyone found ironic except myself but I wanted to share with you guys to see if you thought this was ironic um, so check this out I'm gonna share the screen so I didn't even know Kamala Harris, which is kind of funny, but I don't watch the news. I, I, I'm i just not involved in that stuff. But Kamala Harris was in the Valley. Um, I, I live in Tucson, so it's not too crazy that I don't know what's going on in Phoenix. But Kamala Harris was in Arizona, and she was visiting Phoenix. Um, and she was out on the 9th, I believe it says right here. She was in Phoenix and she visited Chase Field on August 9th, 2024. Now, here's the funny part that most of you wouldn't know that what happened is we were working on a facility right here. This is an APS building, not top secret. You cannot get on the rooftop of this building without getting vetted. We have access and we were approved to be on the facility. We weren't actually on the facility on this day on August 9th, but we have been working there for the last month and doing some work. Lo and behold, Kamala Harris and her team was right here at the Chase Field. Okay. Uh, anyways, well, not there. Sorry. Right there. Boom. <laughs> Chase Field. Okay. Not too far from where we are. Here's this spot right here. Bam. And here she was right here. So Secret Service was involved, okay? They found out that someone was on the rooftop over here. So I know what your minds are thinking. They actually inspect rooftops? Interesting, isn't it? Because there was an event that they didn't so happen check the rooftops uh, for the Trump rally. And, you know, we know about that attempt at assassination and the failure of the Secret Services. So, thankfully, maybe they learned something. Maybe they choose whose lives matters. I'll leave that for you to choose. But I found it quite interesting that we got a phone call saying that they were worried someone was on the rooftop over here. And the Secret Service was freaking out. They saw someone from up top sitting on a rooftop. It wasn't our guy. But APS got involved. Secret Service was freaking out all over all these rooftops. Look at how many rooftops are in between. Literally, from, uh, from where they were here, where it says Cold Stone Creamery, that's inside the Chase Field, all the way to my GPS point right here freaking out about one guy on that rooftop. Now, there's no way that someone on this rooftop could shoot 
someone inside this facility. I mean, the elevation change is completely different. This whole side is covered. There's no way there would be an assassination attempt. But I find it quite ironic that they were freaking out over Kamala's, um, Kamala's life, which I would never wish anything ill on Kamala Harris. I'm a Christian, Bible-believing Christian, love Jesus. I want Kamala Harris to be saved. I want her to know Christ as her Savior and repent for the murdering and mutilating of babies, for um, her injustice and all of that. But I would never wish anything ill on her. And I'm thankful that the Secret Service hopefully chose and learned from the assassination attempt on uh, uh, President Trump. But, and, and again, I'm not a super pro-Trumper. Everyone watching this right now, this is not a political statement. I just found it quite ironic that this is, what, this is what's happening in our world is their bias. And they, they show partiality to who they want. And this is the same lady that would probably get on a pulpit, probably get on a stand, get on a stage and say all lives matters. But really, no, she's pushing BLM. She's pushing... Uh, women's rights over babies that are that are going to be born. She is very biased. She ch dictates and chooses whose lives matters more. And according to my perspective, Trump's life life did not matter in this scenario, but hers did. And the Secret Service chose to do more action on this that made no sense. Again, I'm thankful that they ramped up their security, whatever they did. But it seems a little odd that the way they're going about things are showing partiality. Thankfully, God does not show partiality. He says, what a man reaps, he will sow. God is not mocked. And all have fallen short of the glory of God and all have sinned. Um, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Anyone who comes to the Father and uh, receives forgiveness through him, through the work that was done on the cross through Jesus Christ, will find forgiveness and can be truly born again. Jesus, aside from what some religions and some uh, sects of beliefs out there say, Jesus died for all. And he truly does love all and wishes that none would perish. And so I pray that you take this as an opportunity to learn um, the way the world operates. And I thought I'd just share some little, you know, climbing preacher kind of insight into the telecommunication world on the things that I see. And, and usually it doesn't pertain to once lost and the stuff, but I get a lot of opportunities. And I did speak up when I was on this call and said, I find that interesting that, you know, they cared about rooftops in this scenario, but they didn't care about rooftops in another scenario. And, a couple people kind of chuckled. I don't think everyone found that ironic. <laughs> but anyways, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. Hit that button and follow if you can, please, because the algorithms are against us. God bless you guys. We'll see you soon.